kids stuff records and the S is backwards. That's why you know it's cool. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode of Get Me Out of Here, where it's basically just things going out of my online store, mostly eBay at the moment. Uh, and I just kind of share what's going out and what's happening, where we got it, whatever, whatnot, blah, 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 blah. I try to make this entertaining because it's the stuff I like to do. So hopefully you like it as well. If you could, just please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what you're seeing. If not, feel free to move on. I'm not going to try to press you to do something you don't want to do. But... Big day of sales, a lot of stuff going out, and we are going to go at it right away with a lot of five Wii games that I had for sale in a lot. Um, sold for very cheap because every one of these games, uh, very rough shape. They needed resurfaced. They're pretty, pretty scratched up. They're not like deep scratches or anything, but um, all these Lego games here are completed, so... Whoever got these, they have a resurfacing machine. Good pickup on your end, because all the Lego games are complete. The bigs there is not complete, but still, great little lot here that somebody got a snag on for sure. Like I said, I, I just I don't have the resurfacing machine myself. Otherwise, I'd be selling a lot more video games. But uh, <laughs> I am looking at investing into one, so that way I can sell good good quality games not games i have to put like good condition or very good i want to hit like new every single time so uh yeah thank you for your purchase on this i really appreciate that and i am sure that you will be rocking and rolling once you get these games resurfaced and i'm you're definitely can make a flip on this for sure so good pickup from one reseller to another if that's the case if you're a collector and you have a resurfacing machine you freaking awesome <laughs> so thank you for that next up we got fear the first encounter assault recon uh pc game very good game um this is the big box edition so it i already took the liberty of taking it out of this because there's a code on the back disc and i don't want to show it but it is a five disc set the last one's right here just don't want to show that but um manual and everything dear valued Vivendi, Vivendi Universal Games customer. Yeah, thank you. Oh, please download and install the latest updates so you can download the file from the file locations. Yeah. Um, good lord, I'm an idiot. But um, yeah, really scary looking game for sure. Box is a little bit in condition, but the discs themselves are look like new that's why i like buying pc games because the majority of the time they are very well taken care of so uh yeah good pickup scary looking game i hope you enjoy this hope you have fun with it and then we got a dvd going out this thing is uh brand new sealed factory sealed uh midnight chronicles it is a playoff of the dungeons and dragons role-playing game um, did not know that the first time I sold one of these out of here. <laughs> so, um, that was, uh, pretty, pretty interesting to learn that when I was talking over the last time I sold one of these. This is the last copy I had of this, I believe. So hopefully I can get more copies of this because they, they go out for a very good price. Uh, but it is a widescreen collector's edition. So, uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoy this. If you've never seen it, if you have seen it, I hope you enjoy watching it again. So thank you very much for that purchase. All right. And then... Got a set of two uh, printer cartridges for Vuepoint um, for the Photo Cube. Um, yeah, not much I can say about these. It is just it's printer ink, more or less. But I had two of them. I figure why the heck not? It's two color cartridges. These things usually go for a lot of money by themselves. So I was like, I'm just gonna lot them up, do a little bit of a discount price, get them out of here quicker. And they did go out very very quick. So uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with that at all. Good pick up by you because uh, if you have one of these photo cubes, I've noticed that the ink by itself, just one cartridge, is not cheap at all. So, good pick up. Good, good pick up. I appreciate that. Then we got a couple of vinyl records going out. This first one of which is the original Love Potion number nine by the Clovers. And there's the Love Potion. 
<laughs> but um, yeah, it's a vinyl record. It's bam, Grand Prix series, stereo, stereo. But um, yeah, I, lo I love selling vinyl records. They're easy to ship. Um, I figured out a method that makes it very, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Safe to ship them. They're packaged well, and I can still do it fairly cheap. So, um, that's why a majority of my vinyl records I do free shipping, because I figured out a very good way to ship them safely, cheaply, and securely. So, great pickup here. Never got to listen to this one. So, I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> Alright, and the other vinyl record we got... Did not know these were a thing, but the original sh soundtrack for Strawberry Shortcake, that is a tongue twister, in Big Apple City. Um, this one does come with a sleeve cover for it, so it just... Oh, oh come on, don't, don't go on crooked. There we go. But, uh, oh, I can just show this at least. Kid Stuff Records, and the S is backwards. That's why you know it's cool. But, um... <laughs> I'm an idiot, but yeah, this is this is cool artwork. I like this a lot It's in fairly fairly good shape cannot go wrong with that at all, but um, 1980 was when this came out so Really good pickup. I'm pretty jealous about this. So Yeah, the original price tag on it was three bucks whenever somebody got this before so <laughs> Yeah, good pickup Songs include What a Day, Big Apple City, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Then we got some wireless waterproof headphones going out of here. These are brand new. Um, every just slide that cover off and everything's new underneath that. Um, I don't want to take it apart and mess anything up. But, um, yeah, I did open it once just to make sure everything was there. It was fully complete and... Didn't have any problems or anything, so yeah, really good pickup. I went this one out of here for cheap. I think like five dollars under what market value is. So um, got a best offer on it. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. So good pickup. I I hope you enjoy these. Get a lot of a lot of uh, listening time out of these. Yeah, cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and then to wrap things up, we have nine different cards going out of here multiple different sports and genres so um we'll go ahead and start off with a mini dylan carlson from the st louis cardinals this is from the allen and Ginter uh tops line this is rookie card so it's 2021 good lord that's tiny print yeah it's 2021 but yeah these mini cards are awesome i have a few of these that i'm keeping for myself but one of them is numbered out of 10 and uh it's not dylan carlson i can't remember exactly who it is but i was like hey i'm keeping this it's cool but yeah really good pickup on this i like that a lot and then um another baseball card we have going out is pete alonzo his rookie card from the bowman platinum line i believe yes it is i am good 2019 pete alonzo's rookie year uh great ball player um I just haven't been keeping up on the baseball lately, so I don't know if he's still playing for the Mets, but I remember him being a great ball player, so good pickup. I like that card a lot. It uh, does has that hollow reflect refractor. There it is. Looks like a rainbow. But yeah, really cool card. I like that. And then we switch over to basketball. We got Darko Milicic. Mil Milicic. Mil Milicic. Milicic. Darko. Uh, it's his rookie card. And this is from the upper deck line in 2004. So, yeah, uh, really a bit on the older side, 20, 23 now. So we're 19 years out from that. So this is pretty old card, but he's a great ball player. I remember watching him playing for the Pistons. So, yeah, uh, it's still in excellent shape. Good pickup. I, I hope you're just a fan of him because this is just a cool card as it is. All right, and then we got another rookie card going out of here. Darren Waller for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, this is from the Prism line. Uh, the, this is his base variation. It's not the silver refractor one. But um, this is from 2015. Really, really good shape. And like I've said in previous videos, I am not a fan. I, I'm a big fan of the Prism line when it's a different variant. So like the red cracked eyes or anything like that. Um, 
but the standard base cards they're so hard to keep clean like you keep them in a stack without sleeving them up or anything and they just scratch up so easy but um thankfully these this card was kept in very very good shape it was sleeved immediately whenever somebody opened it from the collection i bought from somebody so very good pickup and then to stick him back football on <laughs> excuse me uh, i got a t higgins rookie card prism black and this card is sweet i love the look on this just looks so good uh it's still one of the base variants of it so um what is that there we go but um yeah really good card still in great condition um can't go wrong with that at all looks great and still sticking in the football realm we got a Jordan Love rated rookie, another rookie card. Uh, Jordan Love has a lot of potential for this upcoming season, so I hope he does well. Um, this is a clearly variation because it's a clear card. You can see my finger behind it. I like these cards a lot, a lot, a lot. But um, yeah, I hope he has, I hope he does well. I know there's a lot of Packers fans out there. Um, it's a shame about the Aaron Rodgers ordeal, but well, it's a, let's. For you guys, I hope that Jordan Love kills it. So and I know I know you guys are hoping the same thing. So. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna switch over to Dragon Ball Z Majin Buu Piccolo Absorb. This is a hollow card from 2003. Yeah, yep. Let's see if I'll focus. Focus 2003. Uh, <clears throat> so this is one of the OG cards. Kinda. But, um, this one's in excellent, excellent shape. Very good shape. Just a tad whitening on the bottom right corner. It's hard to even see it there. Uh, just a tad whitening up in the corner there, but still would grade very well if you send it off to get graded. This card being a hollow just up the price quite a bit. <laughs> but, man, the Majin Buu storyline was just amazing was amazing that's what got me into the anime scene was dragon ball z so good pickup good good pickup i love this card i hope i'm sure you do too buying it so <laughs> but yeah really good pickup and then we're gonna wrap up with pokemon here first of which we have a dark patch gold card and i believe this is from this is from Lost Origins. So, um, yeah, I got one of the Pokemon uh, tins, and it had Lost Origin packs in it, and I opened up, and I'm like, oh, cool. It's a gold card. <laughs> Sadly enough, it was the Dark Patch card, but still, it's a gold card. It's awesome to pull. Um, I'm really happy about that, but it looks really good. The centering on it's great, too. So, uh if you, get, if you get this, I hope you send it off to get graded. That's very, very good card, so. All right, here we go. Oh, this one pains me. Pains me so much. It could have it could have been so much better for me financially. But it is what it is. And we got ourselves. Oh, here it comes. A Blaine's Charizard. This thing, rough shape. Rough, rough, rough. Just like my dog in a previous episode barking like crazy. This is rough shape. I'm going to take this one out of the top loader here. And I, I had to put pictures of the card outside of the penny sleeve and top loader. Because it has markings all over it. Which I'm sure that could get rubbed off. There's some pin. It looks like pin. The corners are not in great shape, but it is a Blaine's Charizard. You can tell in my voice, it just, it pains me. Like when I pulled this, like was going through this uh, Pokemon collection that I bought and I seen this in the shape that it was, I had my stomach dropped through my butthole. <laughs> ah, I wish... If wishes were fishes, the world would be an ocean. But excellent looking card as far as the design. This is an awesome card to have. 
and I hate the condition it's in. I hate I had to list it in the condition it's in. I didn't have to, but I hate that I did. Just I Oh, this the, I there's so much about this card that I'm like, man, if only if it was in if it didn't even if it if it was like without the markings here, I would have kept it and shipped it off to get graded myself even though it'd be a low grade. But really good pickup. It went for cheap compared to what are the uh, the other damaged heavy played variants of this car go for condition wise. Man, I'm I just I'm yeah. There it is. There it is. Well, with that being said, I thank you very much for joining me in my adventures. Uh, if you're just starting on this one and this series, I appreciate you taking the time, staying all the way through, watching all the way through. Um, you're wonderful. I love you. If you if it's your first time, if it's your last time, I hope it's not your last time. It better not be. But thank you very much. I appreciate you more than I can ever express. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful rest of your evening, whatever time of day you're watching this, and God bless. Hey, hey, hey.